another day. So let's take care of the bad rivets. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I also have to do seven. There should be one more somewhere. Uh, eight. So I'm gonna mark those with a Sharpie. Eight really bad ones. I'm sure a professional riveter will come in and be like, oh, you gotta redo half of them because, you know, whatever. But they fit, they uh, are not um, deformed. The rest of them are not deformed. Um, they satisfy the requirements of my little check gauge. Check gauge wherever you are. Check gauges, they satisfy that requirement. They satisfy this requirement. So I'm thinking it's a success. So let's mark them with a Sharpie and then we'll get to drilling them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I added ones that didn't look great. And then nine and ten. Not too bad. All right, let's center punch those. The drill has something to attach itself to, and we'll get to drilling. And the problem with some of these is that I messed up the rivet head so badly that it's kind of hard to tell where the uh, machine head should be. go perfectly drilled out so what I'm doing is taking the same size drill bit I think you can also do this with slightly undersized drill bit but in my case I'm using the same size drill bit and just drilling in and then use the back end and just pop it off just like that um, then the other side should just break off so we'll give that a shot I'm gonna use a pair of pliers You have to drill a little bit more. Well, that's not what I wanted to do, but it came right out. On to the next one.
One, two, three, four, and five. Taken out. It's actually pretty easy to take them out, um, especially if they're not, you know, destroyed. So I might actually take a finer approach at this and do even ones that I think are questionable. Like, I don't know, let's see, this one. The reflection's not doing it justice, but there's a very, very tiny lip right on the edge. Um, and like same with that. You can't really tell. Like it, it's probably fine, but ever so slightly, there's a tiny little lip. I can't even feel it with my finger. Um, whereas like stuff like this, this is perfectly smooth and perfectly smooth and perfectly smooth. Uh, I was nervous about this, but it's really not that bad. So if you're building a plane, don't worry about drilling out rivets because it's easy. All right, sweet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's my ten. I don't think there's anything else that I would want to remove. Which is awesome. Nice little buttons. Who knows? Maybe someone will come in and inspect it and be like, change this, this, and this. And I'll be like, fine. But for now, I'm going to rivet up the 10 that I just took out. I've got enough rivets. And then uh, we'll throw this one up on the rafter up there. Or maybe I'll hang it from someplace else. I haven't decided yet. And we'll get to work on the second spar. All right, the goal for today redo the rivets that I drilled out and we're going to hang this spar up in the rafters to prep for working on this one. So short video just showing you the process of drilling out bad rivets and how to deal with them. So now I'm going to set up my little uh, riveting jig again and get to work. Make sure you like and subscribe. That helps the channel out a lot. Um, specifically the subscription part. If you want to see more videos of just me building stuff and working on bikes and cars, that's the way that it'll happen. Because right now YouTube isn't my full-time job. MS2470 AD5-9s because it's just the two layers of aluminum. Up here it will be a dash 11 because it's three layers. Same with this one. And at the other end, you've got a dash, all these are dash sevens. So that's pretty simple.
that is the new resting place. Oops, tripping over stuff. That's the new temporary resting place for the spar. At some point I can put them both up there, but by the time that one's done, I should be able to start putting ribs on. It'll be more of a permanent structure in the center. This will all be cleaned up a little bit. Are you ready to go? All right, that's it for this one. We'll see you in the next video um, when we start on the other spar. See ya.